everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. I have a special video. I am switching gears and gonna be trying something new in the first part of the video. So this first one, I decided to make a bubbles on a canvas from Dollar Tree. I'm starting off taking a flat canvas and using the black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed this video. The second half of the video will be all about summer. So now let's try, I'm going to take this white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to grab any type of round circle items that I have it's just so I can make some circles like bubble shapes. So I'm going to be using a variety of different shapes and I'm going to be painting the outer edge and placing it on the canvas. I'm starting off by using one of the lids from Dollar Tree items and I'm just placing the paint on the top and then I'm going to press it down on the canvas. This is giving it the shape or the actual shape of the bubble. Um, I'm doing a variety of different shapes because I'm trying to make it look as realistic as possible. I'm also using one of the little uh, terracotta pots and this is a larger type of uh, circle. So to make the smaller little circles, I just took the end of one of the Dollar Tree little bottles. You can see right here, and I'm just gonna place it down on the canvas. I'm gonna fast forward and speed this up a little bit because it is time consuming and you get the gist of it. And Now I'm going to start placing some colors inside the bubbles. I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to start with that and just create some little lines and then I'm going to follow through with the other colors as well. The next color I'm going to be using is the blue and then I'm going to follow through with the green and yellow and then I'm going to Top it off with the white mixed with the pink to make it look very realistic. It's gonna start looking kind of like crazy looking, but believe me, in the end, it's gonna look fabulous. So make sure you watch till the end. Um, the optical illusion, the way it comes out is spectacular. So I'm making thicker marks in the corners with the white and pink mixed together. So I used my paintbrush and I made little tiny stars on a few of the bubbles. Now I'm just going to take the other end of the paintbrush and just create a little bit of dots here and there inside the bubbles and on the canvas itself. And I think this comes out so fabulous. I wanted to try something different and I did and I'm so glad I did. I really enjoyed making it and this is how it came out. So this DIY, I took Dollar Tree stones, Dollar Tree um, little gift box that I had from Christmas time. I'm going to be using these two colors. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this box because I need to cut it down just to make it a plain little square piece. So I'm going to take these two colors. One's turquoise, one's blue cotton, I believe, and I'm going to mix them together and I'm going to start painting the box. Now, if you do try to replicate this um, waterfall, you can use cardboard, you can use um, Dollar Tree, little wood planks, anything you have. I just decided to use something very simple. So now that I have the color that I like, I'm going to start applying it all on top of the little box. Now I'm going to be using my glue gun and I'm going to place some glue all along the um, box inside, um, right on top of the blue color, trying to give the illusion that it's water. Um, however, if you're going to do this, do not use Dollar Tree glue sticks. It's the worst. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. I had nothing but problems with it and it wasn't coming out right. And um, yeah, so word to the wise, use a very good glue stick, um, sure bounders or anything like that, but not Dollar Tree. Uh, you can see I'm struggling. I'm trying to make circles and it's not working. Now I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree stones and I'm going to start placing them on the little box and place it down with the glue. Again, the Dollar Tree glue stick um, wasn't sticking, the rocks weren't sticking, but I managed to get through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle and I'm just going to place the rocks all around the outer edge. I have the rocks where I want them. I'm going to start cutting the cardboard around and you can see the rocks falling off. That's just the Dollar Tree glue, but I fix it. So I'm just going around the outside and just creating a circle. Now I'm going to start building one area um, with the rocks because um, I'm going to create a waterfall that's going to be going on top, glued to it. So I need to create a higher wall area so I'm just building the rocks on top of each other until it until I get to the desired height. So I'm also adding another level of rocks on the other side as well around the entire circle. the wall that I'm building higher and thicker and that's exactly what I'm looking for so once I'm finished I'm going to start making the waterfall. So now I'm going to make the waterfall. I'm going to put it on this wax paper and I'm just using my glue gun and just creating little drop down uh, lines and then once it's dry I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to glue it right on top of the little rocks. So I'm just touching up the glue spots with the blue cotton and because um, it didn't dry clear, it dried like a milky white color. Um, also this glue stick, it, it has so many glue webs and they're all over so you will see them. Unfortunately, if I pull them, things kind of fall apart. So, <laughs> so now I took the glue off the wax paper and I'm going to place it on the higher end of where the rocks are. And I'm going to cut off the top part of it because it's kind of wonky. And I'm going to start placing down with some glue. So now I have that glue glued to the rock area. I'm, I'm applying some more rocks to the top and around it and just making it look like the water is coming through the rocks. this Dollar Tree green moss. I'm just going to take a few little tiny pieces and place them inside in between the little rock areas using my hot glue gun. I'm also placing some in between where the waterfall is flowing through. So now I'm going to be taking these little tiny uh, purple flowers I got from Dollar Tree. I have no idea or like extra pieces I had laying around. I'm just going to grab tiny little pieces out and then hot glue in between the rocks 
just giving it some color. I also added a lot more glue inside uh, to make it look like the water is going around in circles to make it look more realistic. I'm going to take one of the little rocks and place it inside and I wanted to add a little bit of that purple flowers on top. So I'm going to place it down with my glue gun. I think this is coming out so cute. First time doing something like this and I love it. So now I want to add a bird. I have a little tiny bird that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I want to place the bird on something. So I'm going to take the two rocks, I'm going to glue them together and then I'm going to place the bird right on top. And this is how it turned out. I think it came out so pretty. All right, moving on to more summer DIYs. So nothing screams summer like watermelon. So I seen this concept um, last year, and I think some crafters are still doing it. I grabbed a Dollar Tree canvas and Dollar Tree sponges, and we're going to make a watermelon sign with this, and it comes out so cute. So I'm just going to take one of the sponges, and I'm going to take my black marker and just make a shape of a watermelon because I'm going to cut out the sponge. And we're going to use the sponge, dip it in paint, and apply it to the canvas. So I also cut out a piece of the sponge for the bottom part of the watermelon. So I'm just going to use any type of red paint. I'm going to take my paintbrush, apply the paint on the sponge, and then start um, applying that to the canvas. And, and it really comes out really cute, you'll see. So I'm applying just a very light pressure. Um, I'm gonna make, uh, I think, four watermelon on there and then I do cut that sponge in half to make a tiny one. Um, I do go over it a little bit later and add a little bit more paint. Now I'm taking the other part of the sponge and this is going to be the watermelon rind. I'm taking um, two colors, the lime green and a regular green, putting it on the sponge. I'm um, going to rub it in and then I'm going to place it on the canvas. Now I cut part of that sponge and I'm just going to make a little tiny watermelon right in the middle. Now I'm going to cut the sponge to make the rind and just place it down. Here's where I'm starting to darken everything, just going over everything. So I use my Cricut and I'm going to apply some vinyl words down and um, it says uh, life is melon sweet. But I changed it because I didn't like the way it said life is melon sweet so I changed it to summer is melon sweet at the end. Next I'm going to be using a black sharpie marker to make the black seeds for the watermelon. So I thought the sides were kind of bland, so I'm going to take this little sponge and this black, black, <laughs> red paint, and I'm just going to create like a little outline with the red paint on the edges. So I'm going to do the same thing with the green paint. I'm going to mark the edges with the green paint kind of going between the red to make it look like watermelon. 
This was super easy to make and it looks so refreshing for summer and this is how it turned out. Okay, for this DIY, this is a fun, cute sign for summer. I took the Dollar Tree round wood. And I'm going to use these two paints together, mix them, and start drawing some lines. And I'm going to use some painter's tape to make sure that it's level. I'm just using colors randomly. I just mixed some lime color with the green. Just trying to decide what colors look great for summer. Just make it look vibrant and bright using the um, painter's tape just to guide me. And then I'm going to start using the other colors and I'm going to speed this up because I don't want to bore you. So I'm using yellow for the middle part and then I'm going to use a little bit of the orangey red color and then to top it off the top part is going to be pink. I actually um, used spackle for the holes because I didn't want them so I just used the spackle from Dollar Tree. So I use my Cricut and I'm going to be placing down some vinyl words that say hello summer. I actually had to do it off camera because the Dollar Tree vinyl does not want to stick. So I'm going to make a hanger. I'm going to use these pink beads that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place them on the jute twine and then I'm going to hot glue it to the back. So I made a messy bow. I grabbed a bunch of different Dollar Tree ribbons and I cut a piece of uh, material that had lemons on it and just shredded it. Put them all together with a little, um, I call those zip ties. And I'm just going to hot glue it to the front. I do add a little sticker of sunglasses at the end. Sorry guys, they are cutting trees next door and it's very loud over here. So I apologize for that. All right, so now I'm going to place the uh, hanger in back and that is it. This came out so cute for summer. Okay, for this one, it's really quick and easy. I took Dollar Tree little wood sign and Dollar Tree little party plastic tablecloth. This is really great if you don't have a printer or if you don't have a Cricut and you just want to make a cute little sign. This tablecloth is really vibrant and full of color. I'm going to take the backing of the frame, just going to place it right over the top and just kind of like uh, get an idea where I need to cut it. So I'm going to take my pencil and just... Um, create an outline and then cut it and then I'm going to take some Mod Podge and just place it inside. But I'm also going to paint the frame with the white Waverly chalk paint. This is really quick and easy. Like I said, it's great for parties if you want to like have it for outside parties or inside parties. Inexpensive and it comes out really cute. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Mod Podge to place the um, item on top. Now, if you do try to do this, you can use a uh, glue stick, you can use um, uh, tacky glue or anything like that, but I decided to use a little bit of the Mod Podge. Now I'm just placing it on the backing and then I'm just going to trim the edges because it was quite long. It is impossible to get the wrinkles out, unfortunately. So now I'm just going to place it right back into the frame. And this is how it came out. I think it came out super cute. Okay, so if you ever wanted to know what to do with this really cute popsicle cup, 
I can show you something really quick and easy. Just take some really pretty flowers that really match the colors of the cup. And you can place this outside on your patio set to spruce it up and give it some color, or you can simply place it inside anywhere in your house. You just need some really colorful flowers, and I'm just gonna place a few inside and show you what it looks like. And that is it. You have a really cute, colorful centerpiece. And this is how they look together. Okay, for this one, I took the Dollar Tree Hello sign and I'm gonna make this a Hello Lemon sign. So I'm gonna take the um, painter's tape and I'm gonna do like um, part of it white, part of it black, and part of it yellow. However, I do change it at the end and I'll explain that in a minute. So I'm gonna start off by using this white Waverly chalk paint. So now I'm removing the tape and now I'm going to start painting the bottom part of it black. So now I'm placing down a uh, painter's tape and I'm going to be painting the bottom part of the hello. And that is the part I didn't like. So what I did was I just painted the hello black and kept the underneath part of it white. Now I'm removing the tape. And the reason why I wanted to change it is because you can't read the hello uh, part where it's black. So now I'm going to uh, start painting the yellow paint at the top. So here you can see where I changed it and you can actually read the hello, the hello word now. So now I'm going to take these wood beads that I used in a previous um, DIY. So I'm going to thread it through the jute twine and I'm just going to use this as a hanger. So now I'm going to be using these lemon decals that I cut out on my Cricut. Now I'm just going to create a bow. I'm going to use a couple different ribbons from Dollar Tree, the gingham and the yellow, and then the print that's got the lemons on it. It's very pretty. And then is it. I think this came out so stinking cute. And now you can get an idea what you can do with these little Hello Wood Rounds um, Dollar Tree carries. And this is how it came out. Guys, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite today. Also, if you have any ideas what you want me to make, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Guys, until then, bye-bye.